Lester Sitz 3. And this time we chose to drive the Jeep Compass Trailhawk with the new open country Toyo tires. And it'd be the open country AT3. Pretty nice looking tire. Got some pretty good knobs on it. We went up just a little bit of size for the care, the compass. These are two 25-65-17s. Plenty of room. This Jeep has no lift on it. And even with this not having lift on it, it's got, I'd say, almost as much ground clearance as my Cherokee with 2-inch lift and oversized tires. really pretty area we've done a video on this area before but we are back again and we are going to be doing a video about some car camping equipment we have that joy tutus has sent us and then some other gear that we've got that we wanted to share with y'all to where if you come to a place like this you can totally camp in your car so we're fixing to go there's a camping spot down there we're gonna find and then we will set up our setup and share it with y'all it is really windy today I don't know if y'all can hear the birds or not set up camp. So I would just walk up to the campsite, give y'all a good view of the area. There's water all the way around. We're kind of like on a little peninsula. And then over that way is a boat ramp. And there's more camping kind of along that dam area over there. This is just a really pretty place. And with the water all around it, I do believe it's a little bit cooler. Or it feels cooler than what the temperature says it is. Nice breeze blowing today. Yeah, we're going to pull up over here. That's actually a designated camping spot. And set up our setup. Okay, this is a designated campsite. Water view. It really looks like it might storm. Awful cloudy. Here comes the compass.
going car camping, you need a good mattress. This is the Joytutus car mattress, or SUV mattress. It comes in a really nice carry case. It's wrapped in plastic. And it comes with the repair kit. This is an air mattress, so it also comes with an air pump. This is the air pump it comes with. You can plug it into your 12 volt system, or you can plug it into a regular household plug. It comes with the other plug. compass there is a 12 volt accessory plug back here I don't know if I had to turn the key on for it to work or not it comes with two pillows Turn it on. And the key has to be on. pillows with it. Now we always bring our pillow with us, but for this video, and then we just unplug this pump, and we're just going to leave it sitting down here. Just like so. I'm going to go turn the car off. Alright, let's see if I can fit in here. So I need to record this? got room to set up here out of the rain and if I have that awning out we have even more room so let's take the awning out and set up the rest of the camp
Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are showing you some car camping equipment that we have been sent by Joy Tutus. This is a Joy Tutus SUV tent that we have on the Jeep Compass at this time. It's pretty windy today and it's holding up pretty good. We have a roof rack on our compass, and as you can see, their tent covers the rack. So if you wanted to store stuff in your rack while you're camping, you could put it up there and keep it out of the sun and rain and keep it hid. So that coming up over the vehicle like that, I really like that part of this tent. You strap it to the rear tires. It has a strap that goes all the way around the back end to keep it nice and snug to the vehicle. It has an awning that you can zip down and completely close off your tent. There's a screen right here that you can also roll up and tie back if you don't need it. Or if you're going to sleep inside on the Joytutus air mattress with included pillows and air pump, you can zip it up and sleep and uh, I, I do say I need to tighten up this one side some to keep mosquitoes out and that can be done but uh, it's a really cool setup okay I went ahead and tightened up that side because I wanted to show y'all that you can get it snug around your vehicle to try to help keep those bugs out now I'm gonna walk around to the passenger driver's side door and give you a better look at the mattress I can open the door and access the vehicle with that up there. This airs up nice and firm. Even though there is a gap in between our seats, it doesn't give enough to really matter. I've already been in there. Uh, me and my wife can fit in there. And it's not real roomy, but it's good enough that we could sleep and be comfortable comes with these pillows of course we would bring our own that's just us but if you don't have room for pillows you let their out of those and they fold flat up with this it's a small package like i said it's very comfortable it's pretty thick there's my hand and these seats don't fold completely flat some suvs do but this kind of gives and it has a nice shape to it. I'm 5'11", but with the hatch open and the tent, you could be six foot, over six foot. Even if your feet hang out, you're still gonna be able to sleep in this. So this is a, a pretty nice car camping setup. If you don't wanna be towing a trailer or having something on your roof, and Joy 2 just makes another SUV tent, and it's actually a full tent that you hook up to where this canopy is. That would actually be a tent. So that might be something worth checking into. But you can see how windy it is. The wind's been beating it pretty good, and it stayed up. And, of course, we have our T-Moto bottle holders. They're insulated, have pockets where you keep your phone. You could put pencils or uh, paper pad notebook small notebook you know things like that it has a shoulder strap a handle that you carry by hand multiple ways to hook that shoulder strap up and then we've got the fold up chair here that i really like by edioi we've had it for quite a while and it's been holding up just fine pretty comfortable for a small chair the same table there uh ed oi uh fold up table that we like and this chair here dear family just sent it to us and i've already done a video on it but man it's it's nice compact and comfortable so for this type of setup suv camping uh this is pretty much you're good to go here and of course with our roof rack we can have our cooked stuff in a box up on the roof rack all of this the mattress the suv tent the chairs the tables and the uh, water holders 
all fit in this black box in the back of the Jeep, no problem. And then of course we have more room with that in the back of the Jeep that we have a full size chair and we put the ice box up front and the set with fire's tent, it's in the back and the little porta potty can go in the back. And like I showed you earlier, you can store stuff in the front seats. Beautiful area, nice views here. But I just wanted to show that the SUV camping stuff works on the Compass or the Cherokee. Very nice place to come hang out. Lots to see. I'm a little bitty. Hey, but alright guys, that's pretty much all we've got. Uh, basically just uh, wanted to share this equipment with you so you could check it out. Be sure to look in the description for uh, links to where you can go and purchase all this stuff uh, I'll try to put links to each and every piece of equipment that we have here So you can go check it out and set your SUV up to where you could camp like this also if you want to It's all lightweight and you could back into just about anywhere Since it don't have the full tent You don't have to worry about your ground really as long as you find a place to park you can have a place to climb into sleep and keep some of the bugs away from you and protected from bad weather the only other thing i'm going to add to this setup is i'm going to get some screens that will go over these back windows so i can roll the window down and just have screen there so airflow will come through uh, they make those they're not that expensive so yeah i'm going to uh make those to where roll the window down put a screen there have airflow come through the windows and out the back or into the back and out the windows however the air decides to flow but this is a awesome setup This is the Wolf Wise Shower Potty Tent. Wind's blowing pretty bad, so I'm going to go ahead and tear it down. If I had it staked and the ropes out, it would withstand the wind. But we're going to be leaving, so I'm going to go ahead and tear it down. I recommend this if you're first camping or camping of any type, really, and you want a restroom close to your, where you're camping. We just have a Small porta potty go inside.
this is the rain fly.